Hey, I'm Cameron Stover from HuntingGearDeals.com today to tell you about the Quiet Cat Ibex. I've had the opportunity to test this bike in a variety of conditions all summer long, and I can't wait to get to hunting season to see how this bike performs dragging a deer out. So, how I've utilized this bike as far as testing purposes is on some mountain bike trails in southern Ohio. So this bike is equipped with an eco mode, a trail mode, and a boost mode. So for testing, you should know that range for this bike is based off of boost mode, which is using more power, more torque, and it's a lot more fun to operate on. But if you're wanting to conserve battery, utilize trail or eco mode. If I'm going to and from the stand, I want to be a little bit safer, a little bit, a little bit slower, um, I'm probably going to run trail mode. Um, however, for testing purposes, for fun, I'm running this bike in boost mode all the time because it delivers the torque and the power that I want and I don't have to work so hard. It's way less effort for me to run this bike in boost mode and not have to pedal up a hill. What powers this bike is their VPO technology. Basically, this bike will adapt to you and how much effort you're putting into it, so how much pedaling, how much you're working, what gear you're in, and it is able to channel that energy through this motor and adapt to your conditions and help you get to and from your destination. The bike can be controlled, as far as motor-wise, in three different classifications plus the unlimited classification. So if, make sure you check your regulations to ensure that maybe you need to disconnect the throttle and, it, and, and adapt the modes inside the controller of this bike. It has pedal assist as well as a throttle. Now when I'm in a hunting scenario and I'm going to be carrying a lot of gear, valuable camera gear and stuff like that, I'm going to turn that back down into trail mode. That way if in case I make a mistake, I'm not going to hit the ground as hard. It also offers eco mode that will help you get further, um, a longer range on the battery. It's not going to exert as much power. If you're running on flat ground, utilize eco mode. These bikes are still heavy. I'm utilizing the Quiet Cat QK 1UP in order to haul that bike in and out of the woods um, on the back of my truck. I've run into those problems in the past where it's just they take up too much space in the bed of the truck. Motorcycle carriers aren't designed for e-bikes, so that QK 1UP fat tire um, bike carrier is worth the investment. There's, these bikes are a lot of money, so for me to invest that kind of money into it, I need something that I could utilize outside of hunting season, and this dual suspension hydraulic disc bike allows me to do that. You're probably going to want to know the results of the test, right? Yeah, so Quiet Cat states that their range is 63 miles. I only got 21 miles, a third of that, but here's why. You can probably get close to that 63 miles on eco mode, on flat ground, um, a paved road where you don't have as much friction. If I'm going to do a test, kind of like IBO speeds and stuff like that for your boat, you're going to have the perfect scenario. In a mountain scenario, in the terrain, just like this right here, single track trails where I would be driving to and from the stand, I'm getting about 21 miles on a single charge but I'm always operating in what's called boost mode. Boost mode is faster, quicker, has more aggression as far as getting to and from up and down the hills. I'm looking forward to hunting season and seeing how it performs hauling a big buck out of the woods. So stay tuned for more updates and enjoy the ride.